Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to cheese Promised Consort Radon in Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. So we want to get our buffs up, so the Boiled Crab alongside using Golden Vow and Black Flame Protection before we get into the arena. Now if you run right, I find that he has a less chance of using his Rush Attack at the very start, but I've been hit by that many times, so if he rushes at you, just put up the shield. We're going to be using the Fingerprint Shield here and the Anspur Rapier. These are extremely useful because it allows us to block all the damage and and get Scarlet Rod inflicted on him. So we're going to be using Scarlet Rod. That's just the best way of doing it. And we already got him inflicted, as you can see. I'm using the heavy Scarlet Rod pots, which are a new item in this DLC that you can easily craft. So we'll be going over that at the end of this video. But you want to get that inflicted on him. And the nice thing about pots is that your Mimic is going to throw them, and it's not going to use your inventory. Now, for that, I would recommend running to the left-hand side for that Meteor attack, and then dodge rolling near the end. Otherwise, it's going to hit you. And you can also use your shield for a lot of these attacks, but if you imbues them with gravity, it's going to deal a bit of damage to yourself. So it's better than getting hit by it, though. I found if I got hit by two of these attacks, it took up my entire health bar, so that's not what we want to get happening. Now, I'm also using the Scarlet Aeonia weapon art, and that's more so for the second phase, because the second phase is a whole lot harder. Now, whenever I see the Scarlet Rod inflicted, I'm switching to this Cross Nagat Nagatana here, and it has the Frost Stomp from the one of the first bosses in this DLC. I found the ice buildup was also nice alongside the bleed because that allows you to get percentage based damage off of this health bar. Now this second phase is incredibly challenging. For this attack here we want to be sprinting away from it as fast as possible and then you can put the shield up there if you found that you're not out, out of the range as fast enough. And then I found for the second phase we got to get our Scarlet Rot back on. So. Whenever he's aggroed on you, play defensively. Also note, I didn't bring in any summons because that'll buff his health and make the second phase really challenging. So, my Mimic finally got the aggro, I'm able to heal up and make sure my Cerulean Flask are full. And he's doing the grab attack. Here's where we can actually get the Scarlet Rod off. So whenever he goes to set him down, spam, start doing that attack. Now there is a bit of an after delay there where you can get hit, but uh, you're able to dodge roll away if you got the timing right and that inflicted scarlet rod on him there And that's I guess a bit of, it's kind of funny considering the lore of the base game But for this attack here he only attacks at the very end of that and it's easy to block So I highly recommend just using the block now He has a scarlet rod up again So I brought out the nagatana here because I'm trying to get the bleed as well as the frostbite inflict on him. so we can get frostbite He'll take extra damage, but uh, It will help out a whole lot here now Blocking and playing overly defensive is important here. Don't get greedy. If you try to bring out a weapon attack when he's not aggroed on you, it's not going to end well. So just wait till he's uh, aggroed onto your mimic and then get back in close range. We had that Scarlet Rod on him pretty solid now, so it's just going to continue to tick down his health. And uh, it's best to play defensive in that case because that's going to waste out his health. Now here again, I wasn't able to get away, but you can use your shield and it'll keep you safe. The shield is seriously super powerful here, and you got to get in a timing of picking up your shield and putting it back down because otherwise you're going to run out of your endurance, which is important to have high here. So for this attack again, he only comes during the second part of that. The first phase doesn't really actually hit you, but uh, yeah, my mimic's getting really low on health here. It'd be good if you're able to heal them by any way possible, but he gets taken out by that one shot there. So. This is getting a little bit risky because there's a bit of health left, but this is going to show you why bleed builds are so effective because we had it built up and then boom, we're able to pull off that proc and finish the job. That's how you can easily cheese Consort of Nicola Radon and the Promised Consort Radon. And I'll be showing off the build here, so the Blood and Spur Rapier to get both Bleed and Scarlet Rot, and then the Cold Cross Naganata for the, fro the Frost and Bleed as well. Just use whatever uh, armor you can get your your poise up to 56. And then for items, I got the Great Jar, Pearl Shield Talisman, Two-Headed Turtle, and the Golden Braid for the Holy Damage Negation. But there it is. That is the build to beat Radon in Elden Ring. Also, the Hefty Raw Pots help a lot. And the Raw Meat Dumplings, your Mimic will use those to heal. So, And it can't be poisoned from it. But there it is. If you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching.